So it's Sunday, October 15th. I weighed in yesterday on Saturday at 218 pounds. I'll show a picture of the scale on my physique right here. So I only lost about one pound this week. Let's switch over to last Wednesday where I provide you an update with what happened to me this week. Well, today is Wednesday, October 11th, and I've been injured for a few days. On Sunday, I went and played basketball. I've been having a little pain in my left butt cheek and back thigh the past couple of days before that, but it was nothing serious. It would go away. And then on Sunday, I played basketball and woke up Monday and I could barely get out of bed. The pain was unbearing. Um, the pain goes away a little bit during the day, but it's really bad at night and it's bad when I stand up. When I sneeze, like it pulls, I don't know if it's the muscle or if I just slipped out or what it is. But I've been pretty much not been able to lift or do any intense workouts the last couple of days. I was recommended to take a couple of days off. I've still been eating clean. On Monday, I ate Chipotle. Um, no sour cream, no cheese, no chips, no queso, none of those bad calories. And then yesterday, I did have sushi, which is definitely not clean food. Um, but it's not like I'm eating um, McDonald's or pizza. Um, and none of my sushi was fried either. Raw fish, rice. Um, that's what I had yesterday. And then today I'm going to be having a uh, steak or chicken for dinner. But pretty much Monday and Tuesday, I've only been able to like just walk. Um, been taking long walks with my dogs. Pretty much the only active thing I can do and still tough, still feel the pain. Especially after like 10 minutes into the walk, my leg starts pulling. The pain starts kicking in a little bit. But I'm not stopping. I'm not going to start cheating on my diet or be unactive completely just because of an injury. Um, I have a goal and a mission that I want to lose weight. And if you stop for days or a week because of something, I mean, if you're really, really injured and you can, doctor recommends you don't even do any physical activity. It's one thing. I was recommended just to not really lift um, or do anything intense. So now I am out front of my chiropractor. Hopefully he can figure out what this is. Maybe my disc slipped out my lower um, lower back and he can put it back in place gonna see what he says he's obviously gonna try to help me out a little bit and I guess after this I'll be able to know more information of what this injury could be and what my next steps are to improving and getting better because I want to get back into the gym I've been working out intensely pretty much for like over three weeks now I'm losing weight I'm feeling better I'm building muscle but then being injured and having to take multiple days off it sucks, it doesn't feel good. My confidence already is dropping down. When I'm working out every day, even though I still look in the mirror and I still see fat all over my body, I'm still getting a lot more confident because I am working out every day and I am working on a better me and working on losing weight. So for one couple of days, I really can't work out. Just, it definitely brings your confidence down. But we're gonna see what this chiropractor says and I will update. Well, I'm done with the chiropractor and he definitely cracked me up and stuff, but he told me pretty much on my lower left hip, um, something popped out a little bit and then it started pinching my nerve that was going down my leg and it started getting inflamed and that's what was really causing the pain um, because my nerve um, st started inflaming and it started pulling on my nerve. And that's the pain I was feeling in the back of my leg when I would stand up and stuff. He said, I should start feeling a lot better tomorrow. So I'm gonna definitely just walk today, not take it too hard. Walk probably tomorrow and then Friday, definitely back to lifting. Hopefully I can get back into intense working out because when I'm working out and walking, I'm not really popping a sweat. It doesn't feel too good. Definitely wanna start sweating again and get into some intense workouts. I don't know what my weight loss is gonna be like this week. I mean, I still ate very clean, no junk, still staying somewhat active. But I guess on Saturday, we'll see what the scale says. So as you saw in those clips, I got injured. The chiropractor told me what was going on. He helped me out. And since then, I've slowly started feeling better. Still feel the pain down my leg though. And it's still a little scary to get really back into intense, intensely working out. But I think tomorrow, Monday, I'm gonna start doing at least a little bit, working out with some dumbbells and make sure I take a walk at least. I did not sweat all week pretty much. Walks with my dogs and my wife, maybe I popped a little bit of sweat, 
but nothing really. And I still went down a pound that just by eating clean and I, I didn't even eat the best. I ate Chipotle, but no sour cream, no cheese. And then a sushi another day, then a steak Wednesday, chicken on Thursday and sushi again on Friday. And still, but I didn't eat any sugar. I didn't drink any pop. Pretty much didn't eat really anything that was really bad for me. And I still walked and I intermediate fasted every single day and still had a little bit of results. I'm still feeling good. Hopefully tomorrow I can start working out again slowly, at least maybe with some dumbbells because I want to be at 215 by next Saturday. We'll see if that's possible with if my injury is still there. I don't want to make it worse. I want to be able to heal up. I want to be able to get back into working out intensely and pushing my body. Just walking every day is not what I want to do. So hopefully tomorrow I can start a little bit. I don't want to I don't want to make my injury worse. So I'm gonna just take it day by day. Still eat clean all week. And we'll see what the results are on next Saturday. I'll post a video next Sunday of my progress and my results. And hopefully some updates during the week if I'm am working out. If you guys want to lose any weight, if you guys want to lose some weight before next summer, hit the subscribe button, drop a comment down below, join this journey with me. You don't have to cut out eating at restaurants. You just have to eat cleaner, do better each day. Don't eat junk food, drink coffee with a bunch of sugars. If you're drinking coffee, drink black coffee. I know you might not like the taste at first, but I didn't either. And then after I drank it for a while, I do like the taste of black coffee now. I prefer black coffee now. If you join this journey with me, you can easily lose 50 pounds by next summer. My goal is definitely by next summer, I'll definitely drop at least like around 40 pounds. That, that's gonna happen by the time my baby's born in March. So, but you can do it by next summer and have the body and the physique that you want to and feel confident in the summer when you go to the pool or to the beach. So you can take your shirt off if you wanna lose the weight. And it's not just about appearance. It's about your health and your future, your kid's future and everything else. Being healthy and fit is really not just about appearance. It's about how many years you actually wanna live and to keep you out of the hospital. So make sure you guys hit the subscribe button, drop a comment, drop a like, and I will post another video next Sunday updating my results this week and how my injury is. Appreciate you guys for watching.